Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install mod packs on the default Minecraft launcher. Now Minecraft recently updated their launcher so we have the older Minecraft launcher and now you can actually download the new Minecraft launcher which integrates all of the three different versions of Minecraft into one single launcher. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually download and install mod packs for the old Minecraft launcher and the new Minecraft launcher. At the moment, we have to use custom launchers like the CurseForge client, GD launcher, MultiMC, and other custom based launchers, which allow us to actually download mod packs onto them and create instances of those mod packs. Some of you have been asking me how do I do that on the default vanilla launcher. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how to download and install a mod pack for the default vanilla Minecraft launcher. Okay, so at the moment I am actually working on a new mod pack. This is the dark RPG mod pack. Some of you might have seen this. I have actually gone ahead and updated it to version 1.18. I've also been working on the texture pack for this as well so as you guys can see I've changed the background on the main menu and I've added a title to it as well if we go into our resource pack section here you can see I've made a custom resource pack for this I've also gone ahead and changed the loading screen so let me just give you a sneak preview of what the loading screen looks like and as you guys can see this is the loading screen we've got the progress bar on the left hand side there it's not the standard mojang loading screen there so I'm going to show you guys how to download and install these type of mod packs for your default Minecraft launcher. So you don't actually have to use a custom based launcher. You can do it on your regular default Minecraft launcher if that's what you want to do. All right, so the very first thing you need to do is actually download a program. This is the custom Minecraft launcher called MultiMC. Some of you might have heard of this already. Now we're not actually gonna be using this. We only need to use this to download our mod pack files. So just head over to multimc.org. This is the website. Click on the download and install link there and just download the required version for your operating system. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is actually download a mod pack. So head over to the curseforge.com website. This website has a lot of cool mod packs which you can download. Just click on the Minecraft logo like so, and it should take you straight to the mod pack section, interestingly. So as you guys can see, it's now showing me the mod packs and you can look for different mod packs here. So as an example, I'm gonna use the boosted FPS mod pack, which I mentioned a few days ago. And some of you have been asking me, how do I install that? So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually install that boosted FPS mod pack for the default Minecraft launcher. So in the search bar, I'm just gonna type in boosted FPS there, and this is the mod pack which I put together, and just click on the boosted FPS mod pack link like so, and then we're gonna go into the file section, and in the CurseForge website, to actually download a zip file, you have to click into it. So as you guys can see, it says boosted FPS version 0.4 zip. So click into that, and that should actually give you a download button here. So I'm going to click on this download button and download it to my desktop. You will have to wait five seconds for the download to start, but then it will ask you where you want to save the file. Okay, so I have put that file on my desktop now. And one other thing to note that when you do come into this section, you will need to make note of the version number and what mod loader the mod pack is using. So in this case, as you guys can see, I've clicked into this file, it's showing me a download link over here, and at the bottom, underneath that section, it's saying supported mod loader versions, and it's saying fabric, and this is for version 1.18. Now this is very important because we need to make sure that we have got the correct mod loader installed for our default Minecraft launcher. So if you haven't already got the correct mod loader installed, do make sure that you install either Fabric or Forge, and then you can actually decide the version number because in this section we can see this is for version 1.18. All right, so I'm gonna go to the Fabric website to download the installer for Fabric, and this is the fabricmc.net website. This is the official website for Fabric. Click on the use link at the top menu here and then you can just click on this bit here that says download installer this is the universal jar file you can also download and install the windows based installer but i do know that some people get issues with that about the smart screen warning messages so just go for the actual universal jar file if you guys are having problems opening those files then do let me know in the comment section below. I will leave a link in the description on how to go ahead and install Java to be able to get those files opened and installed.
All right, so as you guys can see, I've placed all of the three files which I just talked about onto my desktop there. And the first file I'm actually going to install is the Fabric installer because I do know that Fabric is being used by that particular mod pack and it was version 1.18. So I'm going to double click on this file. And again, as I mentioned, if you guys are not able to open this file, do let me know and I will guide you and tell you how to do that. But I will leave a link in the description on how to actually be able to install the Java OpenJDK programs to be able to open up this file. Okay, so as you guys can see it's already selected version 1.18 because that is the latest version of Minecraft as of today. So I'm just going to leave everything as it is on the default settings there. I'm going to click on install. It's going to ask me which launcher I need to install this for. So as you guys can see I've got the new Minecraft launcher and the old Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to select Microsoft Store slash Xbox for the new Minecraft launcher and I'm going to click on OK and then close that down. I can now get rid of the fabric based installer. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do is now set up the multi MC you will need a program like WinRAR or WinZip to open up this zip file so just install those programs they're completely free once you open it up as you guys can see it has a folder called multi MC which I'm going to drag to my desktop like so I'm going to close this down and we can get rid of that zip file now and I'm going to go inside the multi MC folder and I'm going to open up this program which is the multi MC application it is going to ask me to set everything up so it's a quick process to actually get everything set up. It's going to ask you for the language. So let's go ahead and select the English language here and then just click on next on all of these options because we're not actually going to be using multi MC. We're just going to be using this to actually download the mod files. Let's maximize this. So as soon as multi MC is actually open up you don't even have to log into multi MC. All you need to do is now click on this bit here that says add instance and then select import from zip and then choose browse. And now we can actually go to our desktop and select the boosted FPS zip file, which I actually downloaded earlier. So as you guys can see, it says boosted FPS 0.4 zip. And I'm going to click on open and I'm going to click on OK. And it's going to start downloading all of the mods in that particular mod pack. So let's wait for that to now finish. All right. So once that finishes downloading, you will see an instance creation here. And as you guys can see, it's got the default logo there and it says boosted FPS. And what you need to now do is right click on this and then select Minecraft folder. This is basically going to show me all of the files in that particular mod pack. I can now go ahead and close down multi MC because we don't need that anymore. We do have the required files here. So we're going to leave this folder open. And as we can see, we've got three different items here. We've got the config folder, we've got the mods folder, and we've got the options txt file just to give you guys a quick explanation on these items so the config folder actually holds all of the config information about the different mods so for example as you guys can see it says here lithium properties mod menu and it's got the sodium options so anything that you save about a mod is going to be held in this config section so this is quite important for the mod packs because the creators are going to change the settings for those particular mods and this is how they want you to enjoy the mod pack so we do need the config folder we also obviously have the mods folder so i can actually go inside and we've got all of the different mods here now technically you guys can just take all of these mods and put them inside your default minecraft launchers mods folder and just start using it however you won't get that full mod pack experience that the creator of the mod pack wanted you to have so for this particular mod pack i've changed a few settings to try and give you guys the extra fps boost so the config file is really important and the next file which is also really important is this file which is the options.txt file this is your default minecraft profile for the options menu this holds important information such as your render distance or anything that you can change from the main menu option screen so this is another important file that mod creators sometimes do include in their mod packs okay so leaving this window open i can now go ahead and open up the default minecraft launcher this is the new minecraft launcher so let's wait for this to now load up all right so once this has loaded up you will notice if you go into the installation section we do have fabric loader version 1.18 and this is what we installed earlier so we do know that fabric should be installed and it should be working okay so just hover over any one of these lines and click on this folder icon over here and this should open up the default minecraft folder now this is your default minecraft launcher now this is the folder which your default minecraft launcher is going to use 
So just make sure that you have actually backed up information from this folder. The folders which I would recommend that you should back up is the saves folder and the screenshots folder because those are the two items which are user created. You can obviously go ahead and back up other folders in here but for me I normally just back up my screenshots folder and I back up the saves folder and inside the saves folder this is where all of our worlds are saved. So just copy them to another location and that should back them up. Okay so as you recall in the boosted FPS mod pack we had two folders and a file so we have the config folder like so. So in my default Minecraft directory as you guys can see I also have a config folder. So I'm actually going to go inside this config folder. I'm going to highlight everything and then I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard to get rid of all of those files. So as you guys can see the config folder is now completely empty. I'm then going to go into the mods folder like so. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to get rid of all of the items inside my mods folder and I'm then going to go and look for that file which is options.txt and then I'm going to delete that as well. I'm also going to go into the resource packs folder and delete all of the items in the resource packs folder because some mod packs do use some different type of resource packs. Okay, now what we can do is we can just highlight everything from the boosted FPS mod pack. So any other mod pack which you guys are installing, just highlight all of the files. Now, if you guys have other files or folders here, just make sure that they are deleted in the default Minecraft directory. And now I can just drag this to the Minecraft directory like so and as you guys can see it's now put them inside the default minecraft directory i can now close down the other window there and if we go into the config folder we can see here we've got the different config files we've got the mod files and we've got the options.txt file like so i can now close this down and finally i can now run this fabric loader installation and that should launch the boosted fps mod pack you guys are running heavier mod packs or mod packs that come with extra resource packs or loads of different mods for example more than 100 mods or 200 mods so chances are that you might need to allocate more ram memory to your game and to do that just hover over the fabric loader or forge installation over here and then click on these three dots like so click on edit and then click on more options scroll down and you will see it says JVM arguments and it will say hyphen XMX 2G. Now what this means is that it's actually allocating two gigs of RAM and to change that all we need to do is just replace the number two with a different number. So I'm going to set this to four gigs of RAM. Obviously you can go ahead and increase that to six or eight or whatever value you want to set your RAM memory allocation to and then just hit save. So let's click on play and let's wait for that to now load up. As you guys can see, it's now loaded me inside the game and I can now go inside the mod section and have a look at all of the mods that are installed. If I go into options and click on video settings, we can see that we've got different options selected here. These are the different options that I would have selected to try and give you guys better FPS for any low end device. So let's click on done. And now we can actually go inside our existing worlds and play them using the new mod pack which we installed or you can create a completely new world it's completely optional so let's go into this world which i had created earlier as you guys can see and i do have the fps counter on the top left there and at the moment i am getting some nice fps in my game i'm getting close to 1500 fps in my game and obviously i do have sodium installed and I do have sodium extra installed as well and everything just runs really smoothly so if you guys are on a low-end machine I would recommend that you guys check out the boosted FPS mod pack which I have created and uploaded to the CurseForge website hopefully that should give you some nice FPS it does include stuff like sodium and lithium and loads of different other performance mods that should help you get some nice performance inside your game and loads of different other performance mods that should help you get some nice performance inside your game hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have please do give us a like if you have been wondering how do i install how do i download a mod pack on the default minecraft launcher then hopefully this video would have helped you out
I'm quickly going to show you guys some gameplay from my up and coming version 1.18 mod pack, which is the dark RPG mod pack. And I'm going to show you guys some of the things that you can expect once you finally are able to download and install this. As you guys can see, I've also changed the menu text here. And if we go into the option section, we can see that the text here is also changed. So let's just go and create a new world. Let's create a normal survival world i'm gonna allow cheats so i can show you a bit more stuff and let's just wait for this to now load up it's really cool because we can actually go ahead and create our own class and our own race using the origins mod it also comes with loads of different stuff so i'm just going to quickly run these things by you guys just to show you guys what kind of stuff you can expect to see once you are able to check out the dark rpg mod pack all right, so once it loads up, it's actually going to ask you to choose your origin. Now, this is really cool. This mod is really nice. You can actually choose different types of races to play as. As you guys can see, you can be an elf, human, goblin, knight, arachnid, wolf, fox. There's so many different options you can select here. I have actually gone ahead and installed a couple of the origin mods as well. So we can enjoy that. Let's select this one, which is the Fey origin. I'm going to click on select. And then after that, it's going to ask me to create my own class. But let's go ahead and select something cool over here. Let's go ahead and select warrior and let's click on select and it's going to launch me into the game i can actually press g on my keyboard and it's going to actually allow me to levitate as you guys can see and i also do have the first person model installed as well we also have custom skybox as you guys can see and i have a cool zoom mod which you can zoom into stuff as well like so and we've got the nice rpg type layout we've got the zeros mini map there and a zeros world map and i've also installed the terralith mod data pack as well which gives us some nice amazing biomes as you guys can see this is actually part of the terralith biome and it just looks completely amazing we also do have the roughly enough items mod over here as well and we do have some nice weapons and armors from the minecraft dungeons mod as well i have also put the connected textures and connected glass mod in this as well one thing to note is that we also have the rainbow xp bar at the bottom there one of the coolest thing that we do have in this mod pack is the custom capes and custom ears so as you guys can see i've got the different ears selected here and i also have a ape as well as you guys can see so once you do install the mod pack you can get yourself a cape completely free and you can get this ears as well completely free as well so it looks really nice and once you do make a new game you do actually have some weapons and armor that comes pre-selected for you which is part of the starter kit mod so that's quite interesting and it's quite fun to play with so hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod pack it also has some nice adventure mods and it also has some nice boss mods as well where you can actually fight against different bosses as well so hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod pack once it is released for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. If you guys do have any comments or queries about how to install mod packs, how to download mod packs onto your default Minecraft launcher, how to play them on the old Minecraft launcher or the new Minecraft launcher, then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.